This is still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. And of course, the gang is still complete. I still have a fair Maya, and of course, I still have any baby. Yes, then we're moving on to the next story. You see how we're just making people vibe and we we'll talk, and you vibe, and you I talk. I like, I like, I like. You like, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, so uh, we're talking about popular Nigerian book author and lawyer, Reno Omokri, who has said that many are miserable today because they, are, they married in a hurry. Taken to Twitter, Reno Omokri advised singles not to marry because all their friends are getting married and they are shaming of being the last one standing. He also told singles to be patient while assuring them that the kind of person they desire to marry does exist. Don't settle for less, he said. And we see that happening a lot today. Mm -hmm. You see a lot of people marrying because uh, it's about time. I'm 35, mm -hmm. I'm 30. You know, they don't get married for the right reasons. I, I don't hear when mm -hmm. people say, I just feel like she's the right one. I don't want to lose her. And I think mm. it's time for us to just tie the mm -hmm. knot. And I think we're good. We have everything we need. Sure. So why not just get married? You get it. But people are looking at time factor. Ah, God, when? When you see posts that somebody got married on Bella Nigeria, you mm. see the nice sure. thing that ladies will start putting on that God, when? I also have sure. red dress. So mm. I also have. Yeah, yeah. I, think, I think we stressed on this show previously that we said, and it's kind of a societal thing. When we make your clock in 30, people start pressurizing you. Why are you not married? Like, I have my, one of my aunts, like, this is 35. Every time she comes, um, she comes home for Christmas, they're always asking her, when are you getting married? Don't you know you're getting old and everything? I don't know why we make, we make um, marriage seem like one accomplishment that we need to achieve before. Fine, marriage is good. There's a union between a man and a woman. It's blessed by God. But I don't think we should make it look as if it's um, one major thing. And addressing what Reno said, um, time does not really determine how perfect your marriage is going to be. I don't agree with that. Some people get married after meeting for three months and they're perfect. Some people know each other for like five, six years. When they get married, their marriage will last up to like mm. one month. So it's really, to me, in my own personal opinion, is about the grace of God and the amount of therapy. She and <laughs> <his wife. laughs> Okay, it's about the grace of God and pr through prayers and also the work you put into it. Me, so what I what happened to the marriages that are working that they didn't pray? Wait, to me, that is in my own opinion. And also, what I really stress on is therapy. Mm. Um, I said, um, yeah. Counseling. We, sorry, thank you. Counseling. Mm. Like, it's still therapy. No. Nah. Mm. Counseling. Yeah. I think I'll yeah. <laughs> oh, you should yeah. yeah. get it. <laughs> it's counseling. Before you get into a relationship or if, before you um, enter a marriage, I think you should go visit a counselor. You open your eyes to things. You will ask you questions. Absolutely. You never think about asking your partner. So it's not about time. It's just about grace. Mm. I, I still think it's, a, it's not about advice to say take your time to do especially if you're making a big decision uh reno is kind of like a hit and miss for me because he says some things that are like so spot on mm -hmm. and then he says things that are absolutely like where is this coming from mm -hmm. and i think marriage is like that as well i think marriage is definitely a hit and miss for some people mm -hmm. i've i don't think there's any magic to it there's no formula i've seen things work for people and then the exact same thing doesn't work for the other person mm -hmm. I don't know what it. I think a lot of people have tried and have built careers and made millions out of trying to figure out what that formula is or what those people who have successful marriages um, embody, so that you can you can kind of know or whatever. Um, but I, I still think it's good to take your time. I don't think there's anything wrong with. I don't see how anything bad will come out from taking your time, yeah. if that makes sense, rather than yeah. rushing. When you rush into it, it can work, and that's brilliant, but it is, it is definitely sure that it is possible for it to well, miss. But then if you take your time, I don't see how that's a, that's a bad thing. Like, what, what could possibly come out from you just taking your time and, and, and trying to figure out who that person is. A lot of the time, so I think mm -hmm. compatibility is the is the hit sure. for me. Um, and I, I, I don't think anyone can understand that because every human being is different. Yeah. But whatever it is that makes your make, mm -hmm. um, once that make finds its match, mm -hmm. uh, then it works. And yeah, I think that that's what, I, I don't think you can always know. Sometimes mm -hmm. we want to tell ourselves that, that that's our match, mm -hmm. but we never really know until we yeah. enter our match and realize that we're our match. Yeah, answering know. your question about why some people want to rush into marriage immediately. Have you not ever heard of some people say they, uh, they love each other so much they can't wait? Like yeah. They just want to go into it. So I mean, I think, I think a lot of people rush for different reasons. When mm -hmm. I was heavily Christian, I know that people used to rush for sex because in mm -hmm. my church, we, no we yes. were yes. serious oh, about no. fornication. Like, that was not a joke. I was celibate for three years or something. So it's not a joke. You're not supposed to do that. So, and when you get in when you get involved with somebody the temptations increase so mm -hmm. it was very rampant to see people get married asap as soon as you start dating 
rush, 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 so that you don't mm -hmm. have sex. True. A lot of the times, too, I'm, and I'm going to say this, and it might be a bit contradictory, but I understand the pressure that comes especially for women mm -hmm. because of the biological clock, and I think that's something that is okay mm -hmm. to discuss. True. I have a friend that is in her th 34, and she's beautiful, she's a doctor, she lived in America all her life, and then now she's back in Nigeria. And I used to feel bad for her because every single time I go home, her parents are talking to her about marriage. Sure. What to look for in a guy? Mm -hmm. And what to do, 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 do? And this person that I've met that has, he has a son, and this yes. thing and this one, like the conversation is solely around that. But the truth of the matter is that she wants to get married, mm -hmm. she wants to have children. So it is an important conversation to have because there is a limit to when she can fulfill her desires. Mm -hmm. So there is a lot more pressure. To do that, I just think. Um, I, sound like my dad. Just go on. <laughs> I, ju I just think that the person that is doing the talking needs to be the one to read the room. Is is my is my opinion wanted right now? Mm -hmm. Is she ask actually asking for it? Mm -hmm. Is it is it is it something that I have a right to even discuss with her? So I'm not mm -hmm. adding to the pressures mm -hmm. that are already there. Mm -hmm. All right. So um, for me, right, I'm just going to say a few words to the parents because they 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 are a big contributory factor when it comes to a lot of kids rushing into marriage mm -hmm. as well because like you mentioned pressure from the parents is it cannot be taken away yeah. and then i want the parents to know that look your child's life is not the extension of your life or the continuation of your life so you cannot mm -hmm. live vicariously through us do you understand yeah. you have to know that i have my own clock that is ticking i have my own race that i'm running mm -hmm. i have my own future my plans my goals my aspirations mm -hmm. the way i want my life to be mm -hmm. 10 years from now 15 years from now you may necessarily not fit into mm -hmm. my 10 year mm -hmm plan when it comes to marriage i might fit you into other parts of my 10-year plan making sure you have your car your house your this your that but do i want to get married in 10 years who knows it's my decision to make so especially for the men like you said with the women the biological um thing is very very important but for men too it is very important because there's a biological side for men too. Yes, you become actually, less um pro 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 productive yeah. mm -hmm. yes and all that you get you have stuff like low sperm count and stuff like that as a man the older you get and especially when you are not living the most healthy life mm, yeah. do you understand yeah. yeah so if you leave even people with the lead very healthy life are prone to biological factors when they need to yeah. reproduce so you need to make sure that your time you watch your and, time and, and also, be careful what you and do also just for a disclaimer just because you have a biological clock does not still mean that you need to settle for less yes. there are yes. other ways to do it like I, I remember talking to this my friend that I mentioned in, um, and you know she really wants to be able to bear her own children mm -hmm. but okay. she's coming to the conclusion that if that doesn't happen like they, they start looking for other options yes. so like uh, adopting or whatever because that in itself is still a better plan mm -hmm. than rushing into marriage a marriage with somebody room. that you okay. know yeah I, I think it's really important I think everybody can tell even all these rich people when they always advise they always bring marriage into it because the person that you get married to really determines the kind of life yes. that you're going and to have. Also, and, okay. mm -hmm. yeah, and, and also, I, I also feel like a lot of uh, parents forget that. The fact that you are uh, able to find love and mm. it was easy doesn't mm. mean that yes. I will not have a problem when it comes to love is either maybe my patience my anger maybe there's something i'm personally mm -hmm. dealing with that you didn't have in your yeah. time so you don't okay. know the the demons i'm fighting yeah. that probably mm -hmm. can't make me keep a steady mm -hmm. relationship mm. Yeah. <laughs> do, do you understand yeah so today. yeah you need to know your child look at what is the matter why can't it so it's not like the kids are not willing but sometimes you just find out that men are scum women are scum whatever it is and or whatever the problem can time. be things yeah different and things were saying out there this yeah. girls want a whole lot more and I now think, i think that's something that we need to actually start to discuss that mm -hmm. the institution of marriage is not as compatible with today's world yeah a lot of the times the things that the elements of success are not even admired anymore one of the huge things that made people stay in marriage is because first of all they didn't have a choice Women were only going to find stability, economical freedom yeah. if they got married. Mm -hmm. That was a huge factor as to why they stayed in mm -hmm. marriage. And we don't have that anymore. So that makes things really different. Okay. The needs of a man were completely different. They were so simple. It was like binary. You cook. I provide the mm -hmm. cooking. Mm. It is a lot more complicated than no, that now. 
Yeah, yeah. You might even be the one cooking. Uh, and then, yeah, the okay, cooking. Now. <laughs> so, um, I mean, we didn't we didn't have a, an encouragement for open marriages like yeah. we do now. Okay. We didn't have an encouragement for 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 um, uh, what's it called, um, surrogacy or mm -hmm. like you know, there's a lot of things. There are too that many options that yeah. you begin yeah. to yeah. you begin to be like about, about it. it. I mean, look because, at the divorce yeah. rate; it is crazy, yes. and it increases with the with, with the places where women are a lot more empowered, which yes, shows yeah. that marriage as an institution mm -hmm. was built maybe probably on the wrong foundation, mm -hmm. except for maybe people in church where I think that their foundations are a little more different, mm -hmm. like the values that they have in church are a mm -hmm. little more different. So mm -hmm. it, it still works for them. So you still find people in this day and age who follow religious values mm -hmm. uh, and want to maybe uh, um, sacrifice, what's, there's a word they use, compromise and, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. stay at home. Mm -hmm. And they're the Christian girls I know that really want to be moms and they're satisfied with sure. that and all that. So sure. if you, and not even just Christians, there's some girls that fit that category, so then they work, but it's not very common anymore. All right, all right. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Yeah, I'm sure those, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Married counselors, you guys, <laughs> yeah. you guys are doing well. well You're yeah, doing well. That's right. None of us all are married, right. but sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so um, I, think, I think it's been amazing chat, having this chat because mm, I think yes. it's a very important conversation we need to yeah. have in the society. Mm -hmm. You see a lot of parents ending up Paying the bills for the marriage yeah, sure. because the children can't afford it. Well, you see that one that you mentioned, if I'm sorry to drag this conversation, when okay. you say that our parents shouldn't live vicariously through us, um, it's such a heavy one. I know it's it's correct, but it's so hard yes. not to do it. Just imagine you had a child now. Are you telling me you wouldn't have I'll, just I'll, small I'll, I'll, plans I'll, for that? Like, you, like, you have the child, you already know what you want exactly, him to become. You, yeah, like, yes. like, I, obviously, I don't want to expect for a child, God forbid, you know? Like, and I, I know, I, I was, if, if, God forbid. Mama, now the child race, so if you won't be said. That's then, what I was even going to say, that worst case, God op, forbid, if op, that's your mommy, that's when men will now say, yeah, I love you, Yeah, I love you, See, that's why I don't like surrogacy, because I feel like if I do surrogacy and my child behaves somewhere, I'm like, that cannot be from me. No, 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 mm -mm. All right, moving on. Okay. Former Big Brother Nigeria housemate Dorothy Bakor has affirmed on social media that it is true beautiful ladies are always single. The reality star said this while reacting to a question a fellow housemate, a fellow ex housemate Tochi asked on the micro blogging platform Twitter. Tochi had asked on Twitter, Is it true that fine girls are always single? Abu not just the why not? Any fine girl help us with answer. And Dorothy responded saying, Which It is, is true. Which is an interesting one because mm -hmm. we thought she was dating Prince. Yeah. I mean, okay. so I guess that was a publicity stunt because I know, I know. No, she didn't say okay. she's single. She just said it is true. Like she just they said, fine girl, point. answer us. Any fine girl to answer the question. The answer she gave. Now, you know me it's saying that putting really the affect her. Right now. Maybe she... she says, please mm -hmm. read that answer again. Okay. Yeah, it is true. That what? <laughs> That's fine girls. Yes, it may be like, okay, single. in the past. I, I don't get tired. Not now. I get tired. Of, of explaining, explaining half the time. Okay. Why are you explaining okay, how true, you are Sha. so fine and that you are in a relationship? Oh, that's true, she that's is true. explaining that she is so, so she's fine single. and oh. single. Uh, Hello, guys. Okay, so fine girls, is it true? Uh, yes, yes. Like, wait now. Uh, uh, are you turning uh, your head? Sorry, <laughs> okay, in serious news. I actually agree. Like, f most fine girls, like, they, they Are so, you single? <coughs> Most fine girls like mm -hmm. this. <laughs> no, I'm not. Most fine. This girl's in loyal. She almost I died. She doesn't <laughs> deny you on life. Maybe she's supposed to keep her, her safety private. Okay, like okay. she's still in the working process. She's almost mm -hmm. denied you which pri private what? If it, don't allow your head to give <laughs> you, please. It mustn't be knowing all the updates. What's his name? Ah, wow. Like <laughs> <I'm> saying, <laughs> what is that with a J or a Z? Have you seen that on the Yeah, on, on, uh, yeah. yeah. Zed. <laughs> <laughs> God. Okay, most my girls like so. Oh, it's not today, Zed Zion. Go on. Oh my gosh. Yes, most my girls. Oh, oh Lord. Cute. <laughs> no, you're gonna make us. Oh, no, yeah, we know what. Okay. okay so most fine girl. Oh, emotional. Actually, she's blushing. She's blushing. <laughs> wow. Wow. This guy has a I, strong I think we need defect. to go on a break, uh, so we can give any a minute. Sure. Do you need let's a minute? Let's, mm -hmm. let's just oh, yeah, no. oh, okay. yeah. um, I think people just believe that most fine girls, they, they are uh, in a relationship. They automatically believe that, okay, because you're fine, you're sexy. You're, Somebody uh, is already taken. Mm -hmm. You're already taken. And it actually pushes... Wahala for is not fine. Thank you. <laughs> I swear, Wahala. And it actually pushes um, some of your admirers. Like, a guy can mm. just see you like... Oh, 
Now this girl, she's not going to have my time and you just leave you. Know? <laughs> I laugh. You don't think that's the reason. Go on. Okay, it's me. I feel like they just look at you like, ah, no, this one has passed me. She definitely has one big man that is ready for her. Mm. Or anything else. She's not my caliber. And I also feel some fine girls are always so picky. Fine, don't get me wrong. There's no... I um, mean, actually having a type and uh, like this is what I want. But sometimes you can be extremely picky. Like mm. what, what you are trying to imagine in your head does not exist. Like there's only some girl. Like when no, just told us that it does, please. <laughs> okay. When okay. just told us that it does, okay. that we should wait. Let me give you an that, example. Uh -huh. When I was in school, I had a friend called Pain. Okay, shout out to Pain. Like she actually. P A Y N E. Yeah, that's, that's a name. beautiful. I've never no, met a Nigerian Pain. called Pain. That's the person I asked when I saw. Tony Pain. Is that her real name? Yeah. Okay. Or oh, a stage name, if it. I don't know if it's a stage name. <laughs> <laughs> just, Anywho, I'm shot to the pain. The reason why she um she was always single, like this girl is extremely beautiful. I even used to ask her like, why are you single? She was like, I want someone like that is like Gunju Pio. Who's that? Oh, sorry, you're not a fan of Korean movies. You want oh, someone yeah. that is like all this Korean movie characters. So you imagine, like, mm. you see this type of image some girls have that they want this perfect guy. Like, it doesn't it's, exist. Okay, well, so that name you called, you thought we were going to know the person. I mean, if you Sorry, know. I think... Oh, sorry. Your I guess there is a know. big um, uh, uh, Industry population for, for, for I know, people Korean. that like K-pop and all you know of that. There were, so. um, this movie, um, Boys for Flowers, was raining. I think uh, all the girls were hyped over it. Forgive me. Okay. No, I mean, there okay. is okay. well, just okay. your, your yes, crowd. Okay. Um, first of all, human, even animals do that. If you're a speck, if you have, mm -hmm. like, you know, a lot more. Because it's a, it's a thing of, like, survival, right? And there is beauty privilege. Okay. Nobody wants to give their genes. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody wants to give their genes to somebody that's going to dampen yeah. it down. Um, um, and, and you know, even biologically speaking, a lot of the times attraction is actually happening biologically, where my my lacks thereof. And if I see that in somebody else, I am automatically attracted to that person. Mm -hmm. um, if I have, it's as simple as maybe I have good, I, I have bad eyesight and the person has good eyesight. Or I'm really sure and the person is a lot taller. Or okay. it, it, it's very, it, we don't really know because we don't really pick on it. And there's a sense for it even, like, that's even in, with dogs and animals and stuff where they sniff each other and smell, there's compatibility mm -hmm. and all of that. So I think it's very natural that if you are on the higher ranking of, like, really good teeth, which is good DNA, and, like, close eyes, because some people's eyes are here. You know, close eyes or like you have good hair, like you know, tr things that just make you feel like you. Everybody knows that you are on the top of the food chain in terms of appearance. You don't mm -hmm. want to lessen that. Mm -hmm. So there's nothing really wrong with being picky, in my Extremely opinion. True. No, true. there's nothing really wrong with being picky. But there is a fantasy land, and then there's reality, right. obviously. Mm -hmm. All right. And I guess a lot of girls also, you know, fall into that department. But getting a good man, it, how do I explain it? Love is very stressful, though. Like, yeah. it is demanding, it is tough, Exhausting. it is not easy mm -hmm. that um, you have to be very close to perfect to make it make sense. If not, I'd rather just mm. be single or, like, be on my own, especially when I not have a lot to offer. Like, I'm fine, mm. I've worked on my intelligence, mm -hmm. or my, my account is good, mm -hmm. I know yeah, I can yeah, offer. Yeah, yeah. That's why sometimes, sometimes mm -hmm. they're, they're single. Another reason why they might also be single is the flip side, where they have not made any efforts to develop themselves and they're rely relying solely on, on their, their faith and yes. every man that yes. goes and yes. meets them cannot the stand the attitude the mm -hmm. they cannot stand the you don't have respect you don't know how to cook. You're not friendly. You're not hospitable. There's no other There's feature nothing. apart from I'm your beauty. I'm telling you, apart from the fact that you are fine yeah. and you've slept on that, that also applies to men, by the way. So don't be shouting mm -hmm. too much. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that one, Disha. Airbots, so, come on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, living proof that fine boys can still be brains. Hey, Okpa! Okpa! No, you see, I feel like that, that, those are the two things to say that, okay, maybe that's why that they're single. Especially in this part of the world where... Okay, for example, lighties. Now, I've noticed that lighties in Nigeria, because the lighties abroad are very, very humble. White people don't like whiteies. Or the mm. ones that used to thrive there. It's black girls that used to have gra gra. But okay. here, um, when the lighties are the ones that are rainy, you find out that they're a lot more rude because they can get away with it. Mm. Um, they're a lot more saucy. They're the ones that mm. tell you, you know, whatever and, 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 and all of that. So that's probably the reason why they are also single, but there is nothing wrong with being with, picky. Yes. All right, so for me, real quick, I think um, the reason I was having this concern, I'm going to bring the boy talk mm. into on to this table right yeah. now. So I, have, I was having a chat with a friend, and, um, I think on Monday, and then we we're just talking, and I was like, do you know that our pretty girls are the most insecure set of girls? Mm. And it was like, How's that? he's been thinking about that too. I said, yes, because... Uh, 
The thing is, a lot of them do not even realize how beautiful they are. Oh, oh. Wait, so a lot of them, a, <laughs> lo a lot of them, trust me. <laughs> or they feel like the reason why people are not working up, working up to them is because there's something wrong with them, right? But a lot of guys too lack self-confidence to approach a fine girl so the moment you see a fine girl your 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 what's it called now your your ego will be dampened you just be like ah this one probably has somebody can i meet up you've calculated your account how much do i have so even if she should say let's go for lunch now can i afford it you want to impress them so when you don't and then they end up with the bad guys because the bad guys they will do whatever it takes they will walk up to you they will sweet talk to you they will borrow money just to take you out for lunch and so a lot of them have had several experiences to the point whereby they just feel like look i'm just done yeah. and they do you attract understand? the kind of guys that like yeah. trophy wives yeah the ones that don't really need much from you they just want you to sit there yeah. and look pretty, pretty. yeah mm. so i think i think that is that is what it is for me you get and i've seen a lot of pretty girls i just say that man these bad guys these boys you get they always have a story about a guy yeah. and i think they are the ones that has the lowest self-esteem if you ask me. Mm -hmm. and I, it, I think appearance really determines how you live because I remember I had a, a friend that was on the plus size and her mother, she was also plus size because it's in their family, they don't even eat that much. But I remember her mom really t um, teaching her about, about men because sadly, unfortunately, a lot of people that go to chubby girls actually have a fetish. Or, mm -hmm. you True. know, something like that. I'm telling True. you, like best True. believe that they actually True. have a sexual sick True fetish yeah. for, wow. for something chubby. they want to find out yeah even small girls like predators i know i i, I don't want to enter that story mm. about predators and small girls they're like this they are <laughs> mm, mm, lord <laughs> um and, and i think fine girls too so everybody has one kind of flow but i think the only thing i can say to round up this conversation in my opinion is don't allow your your balance it out yeah don't be that shallow that you would um, really focus too much of your attention on how you're going to treat the person based on how they look. Because if you think that a, a, a fine girl needs attention, money, whatever, so does the girl that, in your opinion, looks average. Because at the end of the day, all of this is really subjective to who's fine and who's not. Um, so even if the girl looks whatever way, as long as you want to approach her, you're interested in her, I think she deserves to be treated like she is the best thing That's after fried rice. Okay. All right, so fine girls, in case you're single, you can hit me I up. I thought you at were dating Misty. it there. Do you know if I have friends that are single? At Mr. Okay. Fire on Instagram, on Twitter. You just had one behind it on Twitter. Okay. At Mr. Fire. Send me a DM. You go down in the DM. You go, you know, you already know. Did you have fine friends? Actually. Thank you. Let's ask. Her. Let's talk about that. <laughs> Look at my circle now. You Where's should your you, circle? You I feel like you have like just and like... Really but, 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 but look at me, I, I ain't got no pork belly. belly. Why are you sucking it no, in? No, no pork ah. belly, man. Look at me, man. Please. Very, very, very you young, man. Are you breathing? Look at me. Are you actually I'm, I'm actually... Look. Look. Ah. Look. Ah. look. Ah. look. Ah. What pork belly are you guys talking about? Belly. Let's not even go there. Okay. Six packs. So are you the slimmest person in your, in your <laughs> circle? Well, that's a problem. <laughs> Don't worry. I have all two friends, yeah? So in case you guys... Are, oh, you take it. Oh, you take it. Yeah, so fine girls. Hit me up. That was very... Everywhere. Okay. Yes. Yeah.